With Armand de Plantis, it's never a question of if he will win, but rather how high he will soar. The 24-year-old Swede has shattered the pole vault world record eight times, continuously pushing the boundaries of possibility centimeter by centimeter. And on a warm night at the Stade de France, at 10.15 p.m., with the track events long concluded and everyone still seated, he achieved it once more. The competition truly began when De Plantis cleared 6.00 meters. Greece's Emmanuel Corrales and USA's Sam Kendricks attempted but did not match him, securing bronze and silver in that order. That left the Mondo spectacle. After a few quick embraces with his parents to commemorate the gold, De Plantis walked across the track and began his effort, first surpassing the Olympic record of 6.03 meters established by Chiago Braz in 2016, although it seemed Braz had emotionally moved on from that record. Kendricks roused the audience as De Plantis soared over 6.10 meters with ease. The bar was raised to the world record of 6.25 meters. Following two unsuccessful tries, he lay down and stretched his back, giving his body every chance to clear the bar on his last attempt. De Plantis stood at the end of the runway with the pole resting on his shoulder. He inhaled sharply and whispered, come on, to himself as chants of, a les mondo, resonated throughout the stadium. Then he sprinted, muscles taut hair blowing in the breeze like Evil Neville's cape. He placed his pole in the box and propelled himself into the air in one fluid motion, bending his body into a flawless right angle before withdrawing his arm from the pole. The bar remained perfectly still. He was in celebration mode before gravity had even brought him down onto the mat. Then he was up, releasing a raw, primal roar before rushing into the embrace of his girlfriend the Swedish model and TikTok star Desire Englander. Abba's dancing queen blared from the speakers as he took his victory lap. I can't find the words to describe what I'm feeling, Deplantis remarked after the chaos settled. I'm incredibly thankful for how this evening unfolded. I didn't allow myself to believe I was an Olympic champion until it was all said and done. It has been such a struggle to arrive and perform at our best when it truly matters. I feel so appreciative for all of this coming together, a bit of luck on our side, and the ability to walk away as the victor. It's extraordinarily special. Pressure is becoming my ally. I think it's one of those elements I've learned can bring out the best in you if you accept it. I felt I was truly in the zone and performing excellently, and I sensed that during my prelims. Then tonight, on my first throw, I felt the gravity of, wow, this is the Olympics. It took me a moment to find my rhythm, but once my coach adjusted my mindset and we approached it throw by throw, everything began to click, and that stadium packed with 80,000 people were inspiring all the athletes to perform at their best. I'm immensely grateful to experience that and be part of such a remarkable night.